0.014 Evandrilic, Lou Merloni, and Rich Keefe debate if it is best to use David Price out of the bullpen for the remainder of the regular season in the playoffs. 517 The guys discuss how it seems like Corey Kluber has now overtaken Chris Sale as the leader in the AL Cy Young race. 10-12 The Indians' 22-game winning streak has ended. But does that mean Cleveland peak too soon will it translate to the playoffs 14-21 Drillick, Merloni, and Keith talk about how far into the playoffs the Red Sox will have to go for John Farrell's job as manager will be safe. Boston, David Price's fastball still has the juice he's shown all year when healthy. The lefty pitched in relief for the first time since joining the Red Sox in a 32 loss against the Rays on Sunday afternoon, touching 96 miles per hour at Tropicana Field. He struck out two in a pair of hitless innings. Price handled the seventh and eighth innings, his first work in a major league game since July 22. The day. He made his final start ahead of his second trip to the disabled list this year for an arm injury. Price on Sunday didn't seem to be shying away from either his breaking ball or changeup, the pitches he told The Athletic contributed most to his latest DL stint because of discomfort felt in the lower triceps. Per MLB.com's pitch classification, Price threw four curveballs and four changeups. Of his 21 pitches, 15 were strikes, and he needed just seven pitches in his first inning of work. The choice to put Price in the bullpen appears the safest and does help out a group of relievers who could use another big arm. But whether he is most valuable as a starter and whether his effectiveness is any greater in relief are more complicated questions. St. Petersburg, Florida David Price returned from a nearly 12-month layoff by pitching two hitless innings for the Boston Red Sox in a 32 loss to the Tampa Bay Rays on Sunday. The 2012 Al Cy Young Award winner was activated Thursday and pitched for the first time since July 22 after being sidelined by left elbow inflammation. He struck out two in his first relief appearance since 2010. Jake Odorizzi 98 gave up one hit in six innings, and the Rays salvaged the finale of a three-gum series. Jesus Sucre's solo home run off Eduardo Rodriguez regained the lead for Tampa Bay in the sixth inning after Jackie Bradley Jr. homeward for the only hit off Odorizzi. It was the sixth home run for Sucre and the 17th for Bradley. Odorizzi took a no-hitter into the sixth, having given up only a first-inning walk to Dustin Pedroia. He had retired 14 straight when he walked Brock Holt to lead off the sixth. Bradley's tour on homer followed on a 32 pitch, tying the game 22. Rodriguez 56 took the loss for the Red Sox, who opened the day three games in front of the Yankees in the Al East. Bradley had two of Boston's three hits. Evan Longoria drove in the Rays' first two runs with singles in the first and fifth innings. Odorizzi pitched six innings, the longest of any Rays starter in their last 10 games, giving up two runs on one hit and two walks, while striking out seven. Alex Colomb pitched the ninth for his 45th save, 